Across many villages of India, people have done some incredible work to harvest the rain, to manage their water in a way that they can be both uh, self-sufficient and they can increase their productivity. If you take the village of Hivade Bazar in Ahmednagar, it was a very poor village just a decade ago. And the change, the, the incredible economic change that has come in that village has come because people in that village learned that they had to first manage their watershed um, by making sure that their animals didn't go to the watershed, making sure that every drop of water that fell in the village was harvested, it was recharged into the ground, and then planning their cropping system in a way that they would actually use less water. So in case there was a low rainfall, they, they will not grow sugarcane. So there's self-imposed discipline as well. And that has created a huge economic change in the village. And that's only one example. There are many such villages, many such places which have taken the, the challenge of really harvesting every drop of water and learning to live more prudently with the water and have transformed both the ecology as well as the economy. However, in Indian cities, I do not see that as yet. Because we are very used to the fact that, you know, government will give us water, we will not pay for it, and we do not care about our sewage because as long as we can flush it, it's somebody else's problem. I think that change has to also come in urban India, in, 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 in all of us who actually are the most resource intensive part of Indian society.